Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Geeky Wiki, and today I'll be showing you the OTG functionality support for the Moto M. This I have purchased from Flipkart, and uh, the link of the purchase is in the description box. Okay, so uh, for that you will be requiring obviously you will be requiring your phone, and you will also require an OTG cable, and uh, this can be used to unleash the full potential of your mobile phone. Okay, so this again I have purchased from Amazon. and uh, this is i think costs around 200 or 300 rupees so the link of this is also in the description box so there are few prerequisites for this you will have to download an app for that you will have to go to the play store and in play store just search for es file explorer okay so since i have already installed i have it on my phone so es file explorer go there and install and it would be something like this so this is my favorite explorer app and uh, this phone has an inbuilt explorer app but i would uh, rather suggest to have this es file explorer because it is very handy in a long run so let's test this out i have uh, a 16 gb sony pen drive and this is the normal usb pen drive and this is the otg so what you have to do is you just have to insert it like this and on the other end you have to by the way this otg cable is a otg c type cable and since we have a c type otg uh, support in the moto m so this requires c type cable okay so i had to purchase this additionally i had normal us uh, the, the normal micro usb cable over here but it this will not work so let's do it like this and uh, just as you input you have the pop up saying that open es file explorer when usb is connected by default so we'll just cancel it and in the description box uh, sorry in the notification bar you will have a drop down which says that sony usb drive has been connected so we'll just uh, if you want to explore in the inbuilt explorer app just go to explore or we'll do it the other way we'll just go to the es file explorer and in the left ribbon you will have something called as local and in local there is this storage so in in local you have this usb 1002 you have to click on that this will take you to the screen and you have the contents of this pen drive on your phone so you can edit you can just download you can do anything you can watch movies if you are if you are running out of the space and do a lot of stuff in here so this so was about the pen drive for ejecting you have to again go down to the notification oh so it's not here you can eject directly from the es file explorer as well just go to ribbon and uh, over here you have 1002 and there is the eject icon over here so click on this and the usb has been removed successfully okay so just pull it and this is done so next in line is the wd my passport 1tb uh, hard drive and this is the external hard drive which i had purchased from flipkart the link is in the description box if you wish to check it out and uh, this is not externally powered so it uses power from the foam and phones like moto g third generation have actually failed to power this up and let's see whether this uh, works with this phone or not so again it's it's very simple you just have to insert it like this and uh, so it will detect accordingly and uh, let's see whether it does or not so the lights are blinking means that it is being detected and uh, yes it has so again let's go on okay and uh, once you've done okay you have this in the home screen itself usb 1003 you can click here and everything is on the you can access anything from your so we'll go to the drop down and uh, there is this eject option we'll click on eject and this has been safely ejected so we can now remove this stuff and this is done so next we have is this usb hub 
this has four USB in here and I have two pen drives and I wish to transfer data from this one to this one so it also supports this so you have to do it like this this is the first pen drive and this is the second pen drive and the link of this USB hub is in description box you just have to connect it to the OTG cable and hopefully I just hope this works so next in line we have is the USB mouse and this is the normal mouse and it is not powered by Bluetooth or any other external power so this is the USB pin and we'll try this out with our phone this is the OTG cable again put it like this and the other end into the phone and once this is detected then you will have this cursor over here you can see this is moving and uh, just as you use in your PC you can use it for doing the activity so Google group close 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 let's go here and we'll close this so there's no uh, notification that this has been detected so best option to remove it is just to pull it out so next in line we have is the USB keyboard and uh, this again I have purchased from Flipkart the link is in the description box this is the OTG cable C type and uh, again we have to do it like this and the other end into the phone and uh, just for confirmation there is this drop down which says that select keyboard layout and we just don't have to do anything over here we'll just so we'll just press numlock just to confirm so yes so we'll type a message let's quickly go to the messaging so let's quickly type a message hi okay. so this works and uh, it's very simple actually and if you want to just remove this and if you just want to remove again you have to just plug it out so that's how you connect your keyboard to the phone so next in line so next we have is the USB fan this is I have purchased from uh, Amazon or Flipkart and uh, this is just the fancy stuff I am doing and uh, so if your light is gone and it's summer season then this can give you a relief okay so the link is in the description box if you wish to check it out you can and next we have we'll just pull it out next we have is the USB light this is again the link is in the description box and uh, connect it like this we'll just turn it on so there is a touch panel over here DGB and we'll just turn it on okay so this is some fancy stuff and uh, I hope you like this video if you have any questions or queries just write it down in the description box and this was it about the OTG support see you in the next video bye bye please like share and subscribe